we're in the rainy season right now and boy has it been raining I don't remember it being like this last year I want to show you something right after this hey Oh, rock a cheek, rock a Hello there. So for the last week or so, maybe two weeks, we've had some pretty severe thunder showers, storm, thunderstorms, mega superstorms, whatever you want to call them, and they have really hit Monta hard. I had a dental appointment. I couldn't even go to my dental appointment the other day because there was no place for me to park without having to walk through eight or ten inches of water just to get to the office. So I said to heck with it and went on back home. <clears throat> so it rained this morning. After the sun came up this morning, we had a shower here. And it was really coming down. And on top of that, the wind was blowing pretty hard right out of the east. This shower started in the east and it moved westward. I think that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way it went. So the water was just blasting against the windows and the doors here, against the side of the building. So I went to breakfast this morning and of course the mall is closed because of water damage everywhere even though I was able to go to Dulce and Caruso and eat, so who gives a hell about the damn water damage in the mall? I got to eat breakfast at Dulce and Caruso. That's all that matters. So I got back home. It had stopped raining, and I got back home, and I opened my door, and there's water on the floor. I was used to seeing some water on the patio, and I go sweep it off, sweep it down the drain, because the drain is on the other side of the patio, and the water comes this way because, well, let's just face it, the freaking patio is not level. The water runs away from the drain. I'm not going to blame anybody. But anyway, so no big deal. But then I went to walk into my bedroom and shit, there's water on the floor. And I was afraid to walk in there for fear that my bed soaked or, you know, the ceiling's caved in or who knows what. Keep in mind, I'm on the ninth floor of this building. It's the top floor of this building on the very edge of the building. And some people stopped by right about the same time and they were roof inspectors. The building administrator and Christian are maintenance guy. And so I'm showing this and we're discovering water leaks in my other bedroom. But I want you to look at this little video I did on my phone and look at this crack in the wall and tell me if you think the same thing that I think. So here's the video. So here's something that concerns me. Here's this crack that I just discovered today because of all the water. And this goes right on down my wall, okay, and goes on down behind the bed somewhere. So why am I concerned about that? If it's rained so hard and the other side of this wall is the outside wall and there's water in here, then that tells me that the crack goes all the way through. Not a good feeling. So, I don't know, tell me if I'm wrong. If, if, if I see a crack on the inside of the wall and I know that the other side of the wall is the outside of the building and this crack goes from the ceiling down to the back of the bed and I can't see any further than the bed and there's water is water on this side on the inside my logic tells me that that crack goes all the way through the wall now this building was in the 2016 earthquake the damage that it uh, was that 
that was created by the earthquake here was mostly cosmetic damage. But this concerns me because this looks like like half my bedroom could just fall off this building if a big enough earthquake hit. But the inside wall doesn't have that. And of course, I don't know about the outside wall on the other side. I'd have to get through the other apartment next door and see if there's any cracks on that wall. But, you know, this is kind of the reality of living in Ecuador and dealing with earthquakes and weather and rainy seasons and cracked walls. Should I be concerned? What do you guys think? What do you think? I mean, my lease is up in May, so maybe I'll just get out of here. I don't know. I hate to, I would hate to have to leave this place. The, this, I was told this morning that this rainy season has been the worst in like 40 years. There's been a lot of really severe rainfall. So anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, I have another video that I'm going to do uh, today or tomorrow. And it's called Mas Despacio. And I'll be explaining what that's all about in that video. Have a great day, folks. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, bite me. And I'll say that with peace and love. Okay? Ciao, ciao. Hey, wasn't your report card supposed to come today? Yeah, but they didn't give them to us. I talked to your teacher and she said... She's a liar. She's a liar. Yeah, Miss Parker, a liar. Everybody knows. Even my principal will be like, man... Miss Parker is such a liar. I'm so mad at all the lies. Well, she also told me you were failing math. She's a liar. What's 11 plus 11? Okay, I'm failing math, but I'm doing really she well. She also man. said you failed your spelling test. I did not fail my spelling test. Spell cat. Cat. I failed my spelling test. I got a zero. She also said you skipped school. I skip at school with some of the girls at recess. You've been getting in fights. Guess how many I won. I don't care. None got beat up this morning. And she said you've been cussing. Bullshit. She's a motherfucker. That is a false statement.